in this video we are going to talk about some ways you can improve your forex trading skills how to improve your forex trading skills and anybody can do this by the way if you are new on this channel please consider subscribing so that you do not miss future videos like this video if I don't give you some entertainment at least i i hope you learn one or two things so the least you can do for me is to just like the video you can always leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any additions to what i'm going to talk about here for those that are looking for forex robots indicators books and stuff like that for free everything that we do on this channel is for free so visit the links in the description box below uh, i hope you will find what you are looking for many people also ask me about the broker that i use their link is in the description box below so visit them and see how good they are so let's get back to the topic of the video how to improve your forex trading skills and anybody i believe can do this so i'll say the first thing that you need to do is to keep a trading journal i think on this channel i will probably link the video in the description box below i uh, showed you how you can easily journal your trading using a free app a free app on the uh, google play store that you can download and you can actually keep track of your trades so you need to keep a trading journal that's how you're going to be able to track the winning trades from the losing trades what you are doing that's resulting in winning trades and what you are doing that is resulting in those losing trades only through a trading journal will you know the things to avoid and the things to continue doing so it's important that you need to keep a trading journal if you're going to boost your trading skills that's how you're going to know where you're getting it wrong and where you are getting it right so i'll link the video in the description box below you can watch the video after watching this video uh, basically uh, how you can easily journal your trades using that free app on your phone then you also need to practice 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 you might read books you might read uh, you might watch videos you might do all things but if you are not practicing there is definitely no way for you to improve your trading there are two ways of doing this you can use a demo uh, i don't exactly uh, recommend a demo unless you are just going to be doing it maybe for one or two months but i also recommend that you put something on the line because usually people don't fail because they've got a bad strategy or bad indicator or robot or stuff stuff like that usually people fail because their mindset they have not prepared for seeing drawdown in the markets they have not prepared to handle losses in the market so the good thing is the broker that i use their link is in the description box below uh, you can go and sign up the minimum that you can deposit with that broker is five dollars only five dollars so instead of relying on demo accounts you can actually practice on a real account just a five dollar account ten dollar account but it gives you experience of real market conditions before you can actually deposit a substantial amount so in if you are looking to get a feel of the markets you can sign up with my broker it's just five dollars ten dollars and you are on your way you get to trade real market conditions without betting so much without putting too much money in your account but practice 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 you need to practice your trading then you also need to watch successful traders 
whether you have a mentor uh, close to where you live, whether you have got a mentor where you work, whether you have got a mentor online, whether you have got a mentor on YouTube, whether you have a mentor on Telegram, but you need to follow through and look at how successful traders trade. What are they doing that you are not doing? What are they doing that separates them from the rest of the flock? What is it that makes them successful traders? And many, there are many traders uh, on YouTube, for example, who are, f are free to show you how they are doing it. Uh, you can watch uh, some of the videos on this channel. And you can basically learn things to do, things to avoid. Uh, because, uh, for example, the videos that I've posted on my channel, I basically talk about some of the mistakes that I used to make and the things that I've learned to uh, move away from and uh, things like that. But it doesn't mean uh, that you should just go blindly learning uh, from other traders. You must also understand who you are, what kind of a trader are you, what style of trading suits you, uh, things like that. Then you try to incorporate uh, or find a mentor that trades the same style or this uh, with like of the same uh, approach as you the same understanding as you then you try and learn from them that's how you will also improve your trading skills you must not be afraid of uh, trying new things uh, don't be afraid to try new things uh, whether it's a robot, whether it's a new strategy, whether it's a new concept, uh, whether it's a new mentor, don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be set on one thing and be set on that thing even when it's not making you money. You should be flexible. So the markets are always ever changing. The markets are dynamic. So you also be need to be fluid with the markets. You need to be fluid with the markets. So don't be afraid of new information. Don't be afraid of new styles of trading. Don't be afraid of new tools. Don't be afraid of new approaches, new concepts. Don't just be set on the uh, uh, things that you have been doing for the last uh, uh, two years, five years, ten years. Uh, always open your mind to new approaches to the market. Uh, another thing that will boost your uh, trading skills is to be confident. Be confident. Be confident in what you are doing, with what you are doing, with your strategy, with your system. Uh, even sometimes when you are taking losses, uh, as long as you have done everything to put the odds in your favor, then you are fine. So be confident in what you are doing. Be confident in the approach that you are taking what? With your trading. And if you are still starting out, don't be afraid of indicators. Uh, uh, it might come sometime when you are going to get rid of indicators uh, from your charts. But if you are starting out, well, don't be afraid of trying out uh, indicators. Uh, indicators uh, sometimes help you to do uh, the calculations that you would probably do manually. The indicators, uh, they are based on formulas. Indicators are based on formulas. Sometimes they are complex formulas. Sometimes they are simple formulas. But nonetheless, there are no formulas that are meant to sort of uh, ease things for you. So don't be afraid of uh, trying out uh, indicators. They might actually uh, boost your trading. Uh, rumors. If you're going to improve your trading, don't always listen to rumors. By rumors, I mean don't always flock to the Instagram, to Twitter, to Facebook, 
to just get an idea of what other people think, what other people are saying. We, again, it goes back to confidence, the confidence that we talked about. Rumors don't always trust what people are saying on TV. We say media uh, is always there to just get views. That's all that they want. Media is out there to get readers and viewers. It doesn't mean everything that you see on TV. If you find there are two supposed experts that are talking about uh, this is going to happen to the economy and uh, this is going to happen to currencies and stuff like that, don't always take what they are saying to heart. Sometimes they are actually dead wrong. So don't always listen to what people are saying especially if it doesn't align with your own analysis and if it's from people who actually have not proven themselves to be good traders okay so i just wanted to share with you some of these tips uh, for improving your trading skills if you have uh, any more trading skills that you feel other traders out there should know uh, other tips uh, other traders out there should know about improving their uh, trading uh, skills then feel free to share them in the comment section below we say the first one is keep a trading journal you need to keep track of what you are doing right and what you are doing wrong so that you can dump what uh, the mistakes that you are making and you focus on the things that you are doing right and we said practice 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 uh, you can practice on demo but i also prefer that you practice on a small account so that you feel the market we said watch the other successful traders watch what other successful traders are doing and learn from what they are doing and we say don't be afraid of learning new things new strategies new concepts new information new approaches don't be afraid of new information don't be afraid to learn new things and we said confidence have confidence in yourself have confidence in your approach have confidence in what you are doing uh, even if you took a loss it doesn't mean that you did anything wrong sometimes if it's a loss you must just accept it's a loss the market does that sometimes but if your strategy is working then be confident to keep following through with that strategy and we said indicators don't be afraid of indicators especially if you are new of course i don't use many indicators on my charts but indicators are based on some good formulas that you can, can easily save you a lot of time uh, trying to analyze things we said rumors don't always rush to hear what other people's uh, people think and what other people are saying sometimes those people are actually dead wrong so these are some of the tips that you can use to improve your forex trading skills if i left anything that you feel you want other traders out there to know leave it in the comment section below otherwise subscribe if you're not yet uh, subscribed like this video until next time bye